Hi, Ben Garrison, Community Technical Champion here at Jump Cloud, and today I want to talk about how to create a new sudo user and manage sudo access on your Ubuntu 20.04 system. Now, before we begin, let's talk about what a sudo user is. So a su sudo is a program that grants regular users permissions to run commands with brute privileges or as another user. So a sudo user is therefore a regular Linux user with elevated privileges to run commands as a root user or other regular user, regular user, <clears throat> the default being the root user. Um, so also you can configure sudo to restrict a sudo user to a handful of commands or allow them to run all commands as the root user. We'll cover these scenarios a little bit here in this video um, and we'll talk through the, that particular process. Before we get too far, I want to talk about this concept that you might have heard of that Linux has this concept that everything is a file. Now this sounds somewhat puzzling since the Linux system comprises of other entities such as directories, symbolic links, processes, pipes, and sockets, just to name you know a handful. This oversimplification gives us a high level overview of the Linux architecture. It implies that on a Linux system, every single entity is considered a file. These entities are represented by a file descriptor, which is a unique identifier for a file or other resource, such as a directory or a network socket or process, right? So this is where they get the concept that everything is a file. So again, this, this oversimplification then leads us to this concept of file permissions and directories. By default, each file in Linux has its own permissions and directories. These permissions determine access rights or privileges that users have on the file. If you own a file or a directory, you can do whatever you want with that file. You can access it, you can edit it, you can rename it, you can even delete it. But not all users are the same on a Linux system, right? Some users, such as the unique user of root, um, is an administrative user with the highest privileges and is not bound to any permission restrictions. This user can do anything it needs to. Um, this includes installing and uninstalling programs, accessing and modifying system files, and customizing the system. The root user is very dangerous and can break the system, whether you intended to do so or not. I've been there on the or not on many occasions, which is why it's not recommended to log in and run the system as the root user. It only takes one wrong command to crash a system. And so for this reason, it is always recommended to run commands as a sudo user. So we talked about what a sudo user is. It stands for super user does, super user do, super user does. Um, and it is pronounced, and this is gonna be a bit of a divider here. It is pronounced sudo like D-O-U-G-H, sudo, not sudo. I, I sometimes say sudo, but it is sudo. All right, so let's talk about how to create a sudo user. We're going to create a user, add a user to the sudo group, and then we're gonna modify a little bit of the permissions and the restrictions around sudo in general, so that way that user can't do certain things. Okay, so let's go ahead and first get started and add a user. So we see here I'm logged in as my account, so we're gonna do sudo, add user and we're just gonna say jump cloud we're gonna add a new password for this user and type in a name room number work phone da, da, da. okay is it, is it correct yeah sure sure is okay cool so we're gonna so now we have that user let's go take a look at that user and see what we just did so we're gonna do sudo cat etc and if you look right here so here's here's my user and then we have the new jump cloud user um, with a with a home directory. Okay, so that's that's cool. All right So now we're going to add that user to the sudo group pretty simple stuff here, right? All right So first we're gonna do is we're gonna type in sudo and then we're going to user mod modify that user and we're going to append the group of sudo so we're gonna uh, modify the user append group which is the group sudo is the basically like an admin group um, that gives you root access, right? And then we're gonna throw in the user of jump cloud to that sudo group and we're going to hit enter. Bam, just like that, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so now that we have that, um, we're going to look at um, just a quick little ID jump cloud. 
and you're going to see here that it's a member of which group so you're going to see that it's a member of its own jump cloud group and then it's a pseudo group so yay that user is now a pseudo so now we're going to so now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to that user. So jump cloud, if I spelt it correctly. Okay. Enter in the password. And now we're going to do like a pseudo apt upgrade. And hey, we're able to upgrade. Fantastic. So now let's say, for instance, we don't want this user to be able to run sudo apt upgrade. Um, this is done very simply by modifying the sudoer file. Now I want to caution right here. If you mess up at this point, you're gonna be able, you're gonna essentially lock out your system from being able to elevate. So there is a utility on Linux called uh, v sudo right and you're gonna definitely want to use this no matter what you do so but before we do that let's just take a look at the sudo file itself which is the sudoer file right so um, we're gonna go into sudo v sudo and then we're gonna look at etc and then sudoers right all right so looking at this here, we have, um, again, it says it must be edited in the vsudo command as root, right? And this is very important. If you edit this file directly, um, this in a, like a text file, like a nano or whatever the case is, this is, it'll, it'll, bre it'll break your ability to elevate and you won't be able to use sudo. You have to kind of just like start over from scratch. But I'm sure there's another way to fix it, but um, I'm not that good. Um, this just kind of shows you all the different permissions that are available within uh, the sudo of uh, file. Um, so looking at this here, right, looking at root as an example, um, let's see, it says root all, 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 all. Well, we can probably get ascertain that all means everything, right? So the what it means is that this here is the root user, user root, right? Um, th it, this applies to all hosts that are on the machine. This here applies, indicates that the root user, this user uh, can run commands as all users, right? So it can run as a user that's on the system, which is good. Um, this one here, this, this column indicates that the root user can run commands as all groups, which is nice. And this here means that um, these rules apply to all commands okay so we can actually if you look at this we can we can start to, to break this down a little bit right and if you look here we're also including a directory I know there's a little hashtag here which typically means that it's a comment but in this section it's actually just including this directory and so we'll look here in a minute at this because what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a policy under this sudo or D that is separate from this file and kind of keeping this file um, on its own. All right, so now that we're out of there, let's go ahead and look at modifying that sudoer.d file that we had just looked at. So again, we're gonna do sudo, and we're still gonna use vsudo. If you use anything else, you're gonna possibly break things um, because the this this utility actually has a syntax checker built into it it'll check to make sure your syntax is correct if you don't have the correct syntax and you hit save then what's going to happen is you'll get a syntax parse error with your sudoer file and therefore you're not able to elevate your permission from a standard user into a sudoer so make sure you use the vsudo uh, utility um, otherwise you're going to have a bad day so we're gonna do sudoers.d and then we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna hop into this one here okay cool so I'm gonna do things just slightly different um, this is actually a, 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 the way that I like to do it um, because it just makes more sense now you can do this in a couple different ways as far as adding a policy here so you could do things like a group so you can add a group stuff along those lines um, I'm just going to go ahead and just for the simplicity of this video, I'm going to create a command alias, right? So we're going to say command alias, and we're going to call this the apt, right? Maybe that's not a good idea. Uh, yeah, apt. We'll call it apt. And then we have to point to where apt lives, which I believe is in user bin apt upgrade. Is that right? Let me double check real fast. Make sure I'm not losing my marbles um and yes okay so now that we have that uh, except we're not going to upgrade we're going to do update okay so 
that's the command alias um, that we want to take a look at here. So now what we need to do is we need to define whether or not this user can actually use this or not, right? So the way that we do that is very simple. Um, if I find my mouse, okay. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna say username, which is now jump cloud, right? Again, remember those all. So the all the hosts, right? Um, and then we're gonna say all, and then we're gonna do all commands. So all commands except for apt. Very simple, right? We're gonna hit Control O, and we're going to um, save file under a different name. No. Okay, save file under different this. Yes. Uh, overwrite it, yes, because I think I already had it on there. Okay, and exit. Now we're just gonna go back in there just to make sure that it actually does. Okay, cool. So now that, that changed, if I do, so we did we did apt update, right? Um, so if I do sudo apt update here, right, it's working. Yay, it's all working, everything is great because I'm logged in as my user that has access to that correct um and so now that that's all done we're going to switch user into jump cloud we're going to type in its password here <clears throat> and now we're going to try and do sudo apt update and it's going to say sorry the user jump cloud is not allowed to execute user bin apt update as root on ubuntu so sometimes you might need to run uh, some commands without being prompted for a password and this is particularly helpful if you are running a script containing a sudo command so you can use the directive no password or no password uh, followed by the full path to the command so for instance um, if i'm back over here in um let's exit out of here real quick uh, if i go back in here to this and i come in here and i just say you know what we're going to say um uh, we're gonna put in here no password right for and we're gonna say user bin apt upgrade right so what we're saying is is like hey you know you can't use the update but you can use something along the lines of of, of upgrade right um, which is which is very helpful so that way you can you know they can upgrade but they can't update I don't I don't understand when you might want to use that but this is just for demonstration purposes so don't um, don't get on me with that and I think that I need to have a comma here well, we're gonna find out so we're gonna write out and we're gonna save uh yes 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 and then okay cool so i don't have any um syntax errors which is nice so i won't be able to update but i'll be able to upgrade without any passwords so let's go ahead and all right uh oh if i can type there we go password okay sudo app update Sorry, not able to do that. Sudo app upgrade, and I'm in. Okay, cool. So that right there is really a, a, a basic rudimentary um, way of looking at um, how to do um, permissions. Um, obviously, there is more advanced ways of being able to do it, um, but this is a very simple um, way of adding a sudo user adding a permission set to that user so uh, managing user privileges is usually one of the top of mind tasks that every system admin um, has to undertake sudo privileges should only be granted to trusted users um, such as support or operations teams devops etc it's always recommended to restrict sudo users to a subset of system commands by doing so you provide them all with the basic privileges that they need to perform their roles unrestricted pseudo access can be detrimental as this can lead to the pseudo user performing some unauthorized operations which can wreak havoc on the system or worse unrestricted pseudo access privileges can make it that much easier for a malicious actor to take over the system so with all that being said managing the process to assign specific permissions to specific users can be overly time consuming and quickly overwhelm your priorities especially if you are facing a growing environment and a growing team Within Jump Cloud, we do have our Linux device management capabilities, which make it a 
ton easier to help you manage sudo access across the entire fleets through your user security settings and permissions. If you want to look to see how that um, is done, you can go ahead and sign up for a free account today and play around with our device management. So with that being said, again, I'm Ben Garrison, community technical champion here at Jump Cloud. Thank you so much for this time. If you do like these videos, um, let us know. Post a comment in the comment section and um, like and subscribe. Cheers. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.